Hello my sugar plums, welcome back to my channel. Guys, in today's DIY, I'm going to be showing you how to revamp your all blind. Guys, it's been a while since I posted a video. As you know, I was moving, but now I'm settled down, so I am back. I have missed you so, 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 so very much. Now, this DIY is super easy, guys, and technically, you really don't need to buy anything if you have a fabric already um, there. Now, what you're going to be needing for this DIY is going to be your old blind. I'm using old roller blind that I had from Ikea. I have those blind for at least seven years now guys and my husband wanted to throw them away but you know me I'm gonna go ahead and revamp them. Now I'm gonna be using my old blind um, some fabric now those fabric that I'm showing you right it, they are actually curtain because in my old apartment I had floor to ceiling windows and those curtains are huge so I'm not gonna be using them so I'm, I need to put them to use somehow. So I was gonna be using Using contact cement to um, do that but it was a little bit too messy so I decided to use just plain old you know hot glue so what I did I went and cut out the top part of my curtain and then now I'm left with a very smooth you know um, edge so I'm gonna go ahead and lay my uh, blind on the floor open it completely and then I'm gonna go ahead and lay my curtain over it now I absolutely love this curtain now I do suggest if you're gonna do this project to use like a fabric that is very thin just because if you wanna uh, your blinds to be rolling up and down it'll be a lot more easier if you use something that is super thin now I'm, I'm showing right now after aligning it my uh, fabric to my blind all I'm doing is adding a very small line of hot glue and then be extremely careful when you're doing this part because this part is the most crucial part now I align one edge of the fabric with the curtain um, with the blind and then I'm just gonna go over it and then adding my fabric to the glue now making sure that your glue does not touch your uh, the roller part of the the blind and guys I apologize if you hear any noise in the background this is my kid making a lot of noise because you know they are kids so <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and continue to do that and being extremely careful not to glue the fabric to the roller as well guys so making sure you glue it uh, very very close to the roller but but not on the roller itself so i'm gonna go ahead and pulling my fabric really tough while i'm gonna go ahead and gluing it making sure i run my finger or anything that you have you know on the uh, fabric itself to make sure the glue is very nice and flat because you don't want it to um, become like a blob so i'm gonna go ahead and continue to do that guys and so once i'm finished i will move on to do all the other sides as well and then guys i will come com come back to show you the next step but before i leave guys i wanted to thank you so 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 very much for all the love and support that i receive even when i didn't post a video for a good two weeks i really really appreciate all the love and support guys thank you so much for watching my video and if you're new to my channel do me a favor and go ahead and subscribe to my channel please that will help me out a lot don't forget to go ahead and click on the bell icon so you can be notified on all my future video and if you do like this video go ahead and give me a like and share it with your friends and family also guys now that i am back i'll make sure to go ahead and post videos now a whole lot more often on tuesday and of course on saturday i'll be right back guys to show you the next step
now guys when you're doing this side making sure that you pull your fabric really really taut so you don't have any wrinkle or loose fabric in the middle now as you see if you don't have anybody helping you just put like some heavy stuff um, some heavy stuff on the other side so you'll be able to pull your fabric you know really nice and tough now that I'm done with doing both of the side and the top we're gonna go ahead and finish by doing the bottom part now as you can see the blind have like uh, the um, blind self roll under it so we're gonna go ahead and repeat the same thing so we can have a very nice edge finishing at the bottom so all I'm doing is taking the fabric and glue it under the blind itself and once we are done we're gonna go ahead and cut all the excess fabric that is left both at the bottom and on the other edge now because my fabric is a very sheer uh, thin fabric it actually fray a lot when I cut it off so you know the best way to do uh, to fix like a fray fabric is to use like fire on it and slightly go over it to seal those you know those edges now if you are under age please don't use fire yourself because you can you know hurt yourself or you know put something on fire because you don't want uh, to do that so if you are under age make sure you help you have an adult there helping you do this part but you know what if you're not using a fabric that uh, is doesn't fray you don't need to worry about this part once you finish gluing your fabric to your um to your blind then you are done now i'm gonna go ahead and cut all my fabric you, you know using a little bit of fire uh, fire to uh, seal the edge that was fraying up and then the next step i'm gonna be doing is just taking the little hook that goes at the bottom part of the uh, curtain just you know the the one that will help you pull up and down the um the blind itself and i'm gonna go ahead and add it and then that's it guys you are done and then um, because again i'm using a very sheer fabric that tend to wrinkle a lot i'm just gonna go ahead and use an iron and iron it while it's on the floor so that way we have a very nice wrinkle free uh, roller blind and it will help a lot with the pulling up and down of you know the blind if you don't have any wrinkle on it and that's why I suggest that you guys use a very thin sheer fabric or you know if you want your blind to um, remain you know like on a size that you actually have to leave it there you can use any type of fabric that you want but I want my blind to still go up and down so that's why I use the curtain beside I love this curtain and voila guys we are done this DIY was so easy I really didn't buy anything all I used was my old curtains my old blind and some glue that's it how easy was that guys so I will be seeing you in the next video guys pretty pretty soon on Saturday and again we'll be posting regularly now because I am settled down in my new place and guys don't forget at the end of this month we're gonna go ahead and do a giveaway so guys let me know in the comment below what you would like for me to give away but I'm thinking about either give away like an Amazon gift card or maybe some epoxy since I work a lot with epoxy and I am setting out my own little studio now so I'll be doing a lot of acrylic painting and epoxy project more often so let me go know in the comment below guys what will you, will you prefer to have like the epoxy or an Amazon gift card guys that's it for today I hope you enjoy this video if you do not forget to go ahead and check my other videos and like this video and share it with your friend and family and you know the drill guys as always be blessed and stay blessed i'll see you soon bye Mwah.